What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Moon here uh, for breakfast. I had McDonald's breakfast. For lunch, I had a sandwich. Um, and for dinner, um, I had some chili just now. Um, today was River Day um, for work. Um, yeah, um, I woke up at 4... I know, I woke up at 5. Um, we left at 5.45, we went to McDonald's, then we went to work. Um, at work, we got in a van, and my mom's job is to get the van ready. Um, we got in a van, and then we drove about an hour and a half to um, tiniest, tiny, tiny little town in Washington. Um, uh, and then once we were in this tiny little tiny town, um, we um, then got on a school bus. And the school bus brought all of us, not, not just the people in the van, but the people in the multiple vans, like everybody, everybody got in the school bus. And um, then they brought us to this place um, where we got rafts and we went on the water. Um, and then, you know, um, I had never, I've never been on a boat um, except for like ferries. But ferries don't count because ferries are so big you might as well just be on land, uh, I feel like. Um, I've never been on a boat, really, like a, like a raft, like, boat, where, like, there's, like, a small wave, and you see it, and then you feel it, you know, like, I've never been on a boat, you know, um, so, uh, it, it was really interesting, um, let me bring up the, uh, let me try to bring up what I was on, uh, okay, I found it, so, it's kind of like, um, kind of like this, except imagine this outer sort of balloon area, is um like red and uh these bars here are white and the floor is white now um something that you would think is you see these and you think oh they're seats they aren't seats um you actually sit here right on the edge of the boat um and then your feet you sort of kick your feet under these um so then you lodge your feet in there so then you can uh so then you can sort of let's say it's kind of rocky not rocky but let's say it sort of it sort of waves you around you're able to like lean back over this side, you know, and get adjusted because if your feet weren't under this, you would just fall into the water, right? Um, so, um, yeah, it was kind of like that. Um, and then there would be a guy back here with two big oars, um, or maybe back here, I'm not sure which side is the front, but he would be on one of the sides with two big oars, um, but he would be behind all of us. And then there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, sort of sitting on the side um, with our feet in, with the or with our paddles ready. And uh, he would tell us to paddle. So it would be like, um, like four, three, and we would go one, two, three. We wouldn't say that, but you know, we would just be sure to synchronize, you know, with the person in front of me and the person behind me. And then sometimes he would say like backwards five, uh, backwards three. And then we go one, two, three but if you said like backwards two it'd be like one two backwards or forward one it'd be one forwards you know and sometimes you'd say forward one like three times you know and um yeah the rafting itself was pretty fun um the river itself was really smooth um there were some points where it got kind of it shook you around a little bit um there are three main parts the first two were fine the third was kind of crazy um, uh, it kind of pushed you up and then it went, and then, you know, next thing I know, there's a big wave of water in front of me. The next thing I know, it's splashing down on top of all of us. And, you know, I get pretty wet. Um, luckily I'm wearing some polyester shorts, which are right there on top of my jeans. Um, and I was wearing, um, a polyester Columbia t-shirt that, um, my mom and I got at the mall, um, last weekend. Uh, I think, I think last weekend. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I got pretty wet. Um, I was wearing my Yeezy foam runners, because those are basically just Crocs. Um, I was wearing a pair of primarily cotton socks with them, which I shouldn't have been. Um, you know, when they say don't wear cotton, they really, really mean it. Um, the thing about cotton is that it sort of soaks in water 
um, and that makes sense when the cotton is like a plant in the ground because it's supposed to soak in water because it's a plant, um, but when it's on you, it's not necessarily what you want to happen when you're in that situation. So um, I really like cotton garments. That's why I had to go to the mall to buy polyester garments. But um, you know, uh, well, when you're in a situation like that, you you gotta wear um, artificial materials so then the water doesn't soak in. Um, yeah, and, and make you make you cold and colder than you need to be, right? Um, it started uh, drizzling just a tiny, like the tiniest, um, tiniest bit, um, and then it was lunch. So um, the the boss man sort of showed up, and uh, we um, what we uh, they 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 flipped a boat over one of the boats over to make it sort of a table, and that's where we got our food. And that's where you would grab it. Um, there were turkey Havarti sandwiches, roast beef sandwiches, BLTs, and salads. Um, and uh, yeah, they were they were good. There was enough food for everyone. Um, oh, and there were also Tim's, uh, I think this might be a Northwest thing, but check it out. Oh, hold up. Yeah, their production facilities are located in the U.S. state of Washington. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's these chips. Original, original, original. It, it was actually this exact bag of chips. It was two big boxes of these, and uh, they were pretty good. Um, I've had them before. They're one of my more favorite chips because uh, they just taste very, like, they, they are very unique. Um, like, you don't really get chips that, you know, look like this. You know, they're very, they're very interesting looking. Let's, let's see if we got more of these. What is happening? Okay, maybe I shouldn't scroll on, on brave, brave images for, on, on my YouTube channel, but, um, sorry, I stopped using steroid cream on my hands and it's, it's really bad right now. Well, it's not bad, it's not that bad. But I've got like, you know when it gets really dry in the desert, cracks form on the on the rock. That's what's happening on my fingers. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, and it's because I have eczema. But you use steroid cream and it goes away, but if you use steroid cream for more than two weeks, your hands become pretty dependent on it, and I'm just trying to get fully off steroid cream. If you've ever noticed that, right there, that sort of little squirt thing there, that, what, what, what is that, uh, medicine? Like, that's steroid cream, and I, I'd put it on every night with that, with that lotion, right? So I'd get into bed, I'd put on that lotion, I'd put on that steroid cream, and I'd go like this, right? It's good, because then my hands are good, and they look normal, but the evil thing is, is if, is you gotta use it for the rest of your life, and, you know, um, I realize, man, I'm turning 18. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be uh, 25 or 26 or whatever, 24. Sometime, I'm going to get off my parents' insurance. I don't want to pay $10 after insurance all the time for steroid cream. That sounds annoying, and I don't want to make my parents pay for that for the rest of the time I'm on their insurance. So, um, you know, I better get off the steroid cream. So that's what I'm doing. My buddy, it was all over, he, he, was, he had to use steroid cream all over his body, so when he stopped using it, it was like, it was pretty bad. Um, and so I'm personally really happy that I don't have to deal with that, because um, that sounds horrifying. Like, he had to stay home for school a little bit, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so um, we had our food. I was very cold, uh, one of the guides were the people ordering the boats. There are like five boats, and there are five people. One of the guys was like, hey, I have a spare blanket. Does anybody want a blanket? I was very, I was like very cold. And um, you know, everybody I work with is very smart and they're very smart engineer type people and they do like field work in places like where I was. But that was the first time I was ever in a place like that. Um, and for, for the record, there are lots of mountains, lots of not like cold mountains, not like snowy mountains, but just like hills with trees. Um, 
I wonder if I search rural, rural Washington. Oh man, it just shows farms. to do it because I was um I'm not going to be in white water like the other people I work with but um I did watch them and I learned some stuff um apparently there's a type of water that's very dangerous called white water and it's like when it rushes in a certain way and it's kind of dangerous and you can't really traverse it on your own so you should either get a um like a or use that as a walking stick that's as little protection as you should have um other case in our we all have life jackets on um you would grab you would get another person you'd grab their life jacket like where it straps here and they would grab yours and you would just sort of walk on shimmy across the white water or you do that with three people um and that's the safest because if one person falls they could just help you grab up and it's um it's good um but uh yeah so people learned how to do that they also learned um if someone's falling down the the river um, you don't want to get your foot trapped in anything, so you kind of keep, stay back, kind of float up, because you, you're always going to have a life jacket on. Um, and someone will throw a, uh, some, some paracord at you, and you, you grab the paracord, and you, uh, they, they, uh, the people are good at it, so they're just able to throw it on your shoulder and you go like this. I didn't have to do this, but I just saw people do it. Um, and then they pull you in, so that, that's how you would be saved in that situation. Um, he also said that, um, you know, if you get trapped in white water, it's pretty fatal. So, uh, be sure you're very careful. Um, uh, and yeah, then we're on rafts. After that, it was very, very calm, very pretty, very picturesque. If like there was a Seinfeld episode, like some sort of sitcom episode where they all went rafting it would look, it looked like that. It was very pretty. Um, and, uh, you know, we just went out and about. What am I saying? Um, and then eventually we got back, um, to the vans. Uh, we ended up at this bridge and that's where the vans were. So, um, yeah. Uh, oh, I, they also did some rock jumping, but I didn't, some cliff jumping, but I didn't do that because that's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, alright, see you dude. I think that's it.